hear a taxi. I think, I think he might have arrived. Come in, the door's open. Hi, I'm Steve, but you can call me Captain America. I have a little gift for you. Is that for me? Oh, that's fantastic. Two American cleaners in one day. I'm a very lucky boy. I knew you always wanted one. I watch your channel all the time. It's a fabulous Hoover Portable. I carried it all the way from the US of A. Well, after your long journey, I'm sure you'd like a cup of tea, some crumpets and fairy cakes. But if you'd like to take off your get up there and have a shower, I'll uh, have the tea things ready for you. Yes, a china cup of your English tea and some hot buttered crumpets will go down very well. Well, folks, look what Captain America's brought me. This fabulous Hoover portable cleaning center. I've wanted one of these for ages. Oh, just hold on a minute. Captain, don't use all the hot water. I'll be wanting a shower later. Yeah, there's towels on the chair. Okay. They hog a lot of the water, these superheroes. Right, let's have a closer look at this fabulous vacuum. From what Captain America tells me, I think this is quite a late model of portable, but if you know the date of this, please comment below. We'll have a look at the serial number if there is one. But look at this fabulous color, this uh, two-tone blue. Now I did have a couple of these, I actually had three of these back in the day. I had uh, a green one without auto cord rewind, I think it was. And then I had two of the brown and pumpkin color machines, but of course they all went and they're very hard to get hold of in the UK now, especially in this condition. This is fabulous. So this was supposed to be portable, but it is absolutely huge and heavy. It's like pulling a huge trunk behind you. So I don't think they were very popular. I think um, in the USA you could get a model called the Slimline, which was an updated version. Uh, I don't think it had all the tools inside. It was a similar shape. There were also versions with two large wheels on the back. So when we lift the lid, we will see the surprise inside. Most of you will know what's inside. Yes, all the accessories. So in the top half of the cleaner, we've got the carpet and floor nozzle, a telescopic wand, all-purpose nozzle, dusting brush, and a crevice nozzle. Now, as this one doesn't have auto cord rewind, we've got a little compartment here to store the mains lead. The lower part of the cleaner stores the hose. It's not a stretch hose. It's uh, this type. There is a name for this type of hose, but uh, it escapes me at the moment. I'm sure you all know what this type of hose is. Is it Tough Flex? I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a flexible but non-stretch hose. And it was a similar hose to the one we had in the UK. I do remember I had, I think the green model I had, the hose was a light grey. And the um, orange and brown machine, the hose was actually brown to match the brown of the cleaner. So the hose comes out like this and then when you're using the machine you close the lid and then the hose just comes out like that. You can move it from side to side and of course ugh, you can pull the machine along by the hose if you're strong enough. And there's a little catch underneath here that opens container you can remove the hose I'm not sure if this has a blowing function I did have one that had but we'll check so that's the hose off so underneath this should be the dust bag and this takes whoops and I think this is a genuine bag it's a non-reusable though this takes a Hoover J style dust bag that's also whoops the same bag Ooh, it's a bit smelly. Ooh, it's a bit dirty in there. I thought Captain America would have cleaned it for me. Um, this is the same bag as the Constellation. Not the newer Constellation, but the previous Constellation. This would also fit the UK Constellation, but again, only the previous, not the one they launched, well, Maytag launched in the early 2000s, I think it was. So um, this one has a Type J non-reusable throwaway filter bag. And 
Ooh, I'm going to have to vacuum that out. It's a great big metal piece here. It's a little bit of foam as well for some reason. I'm not sure what that does. It might uh, help with noise reduction. There we go. Oh, it's, oh it weighs a ton. <laughs> I don't know how Mr. Mr. America managed this on the bus or wherever. <laughs> There's a piece of foam look just there in the bottom. And at the back, quite a worn filter. I'll have to rig something up. I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't think you could get this filter anymore. But the uh, bag compartment's a bit dirty, but it's not bad, is it? Not bad condition. And the seal all around here seems in good condition as well. And there's also a little seal there that helps to seal against the bag. Okay, I'll just quickly whip the dirt out of this with another vacuum cleaner. And then we'll uh, hopefully get this working. Well, that's the bag compartment vacuumed out and I've refitted the bag. Just close the bag door, refit the hose. And we'll take out the extension wand and the floor nozzle. Oh, they're in there pretty tight. Come on. Let's have a look at the floor nozzle. So I think this is a later style. Again, that's in pretty good condition, isn't it? Bit of bit of fluff on there. But that's a lovely shiny base plate. Not sure if there was um, in that gap, there might have been. I don't know if there would have been a velour litter picker, but uh, we've got the rubber teeth there that are uh, pretty good condition, not very worn at all. And then we've got the brush at the back and we've got floor and rug setting. So in floor setting, the brush remains down. And when you've got it in rug, the brush floats. So that's, that's very good condition. Two rollers at the front there for a bit of manoeuvrability. And of course it's the Hoover pip fitting. So that fits into there and we've got the telescopic wand. And then we just have to fit it to the handle. And this small grill at the side is where the exhaust air vents out of. And you can open that somehow. Oh, it's from the bottom. It pulls out at the bottom. And there should be, there should be some sort of diffuser, I think. But uh, it looks like it's perished. I do believe there would have been something there. But that, to me, can you see that? That looks like you can actually attach the hose for blowing. It's a bit hard to read the details on the underside of this cleaner because they're stamped into the metal casing, but I'll give it a go. So it's a Hoover cleaner, 120 volts, 60 hertz, AC only, 6.5 amp, course made in the USA, model 2120, the Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, 44720. And all we've got to move this hulking great beast of a vacuum is a swivel caster here at the front and two wheels or rather rollers at the back. Okay then it's time to switch it on. I think it'll be okay. I don't think an American superhero would have given me a vacuum that's about to blow up but you never know. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it seems quieter than the portable that I had, the portables for my memory, and the suction isn't bad at all either. Well, it sounds pretty sweet to me. Comment below if you think that sounds like it should, but to my ears, I think that's pretty good. Let's uh, attach the wand again. <laughs> it is a very large and clunky machine. I think I can use my foot.
Well, there you go. Obviously not as good as the Concept 2, but not bad either. Right, let's uh, select another tool. I think uh, I'll go for the all-purpose all purpose nozzle. Oh, that's in very good condition. Look at that. Still got all its own teeth, look. Look at that. Lovely condition that nozzle's in. Well, as the old TV commercial goes, I'm now going to pack it away as neat and tidy as a suitcase. Right, so back goes the furniture nozzle, Ooh, eventually, and the crevice tool. And we'll take the uh, carpet and floor nozzle off, pop that back. It's all laid out how you're supposed to put it back in there. And finally, the wand. Which way does that go in? Might be that way, I'm not sure. Could be the other way around. To store hose, it goes this way, like that. And then I've just got to coil up the cable. But of course, auto cord rewind models would have had like a pull-pull system. So you'd give the cable a short tug and it would rewind automatically. It would have been the cable reel in this part here where we've just got that little area to slot the cord in. And then we can close the lid and store it away for another day. Well, that's about the end of my 4th of July show. I hope you've all had a great Independence Day. And if you're not living in America and you don't celebrate Independence Day, I hope you've had a great day anyway and enjoyed seeing these two fabulous American-made vacuum cleaners. Again, a big thanks to Captain America. I think he's upstairs having a lie down. Big thanks to him for bringing me that fabulous Hoover portable vacuum. Another box ticked for my collection. If you have any comments or questions about the two vacuums I received today, please comment below. And if you can help me out with any advice on either of them, I will be very grateful. So until the next time, have a great day and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.